Hey guys, so this is a quick video on creating walls for your house. And uh, so first of all, we're going to go to houseplans.com, um, choose a house according to this layout here. And then um, when you get to the house like this, if it ha hopefully has a floor plan, click on the floor plan like this and then click on it again, typically to see a bigger picture. And then I would suggest using the, using the snipping tool to snip this out. Um, and just grabbing this whole thing like this and then saving that image, okay? And I'm going to go to File, Save As, and just save it into your folder. Okay, that's what I did. Next thing is go to Floor Planner and make sure you're logging in. If you haven't done that through um, through the slides, um, that link that I gave you, please do that so that when you, you get to this spot here, you can be um, creating projects like this. Click on Create Project. You should be level 2. Uh, like this and not a basic um, basic or level one. Let me know if you can help with that. Okay, next give it a give it a name right here for creating a new project. I'm gonna call this floor plan two for me. And then put your name in there and then floor plan would be fine. Click on start project. Once it gets to here you want to um, bring in the image or that floor plan image that you had from the house plans and then it's called a backdrop okay so click on choose file and then find your floor plan like mine's right here okay and click on open and it should come into the background okay like this this is pretty small my drawing I want to scale to the right scale okay it's right size because right now it needs to be 26 feet across and I don't think it is so that means you need to set the scale of the floor plan image so click on uh, first of all zoom in kind of as big as you can go so you see like one wall or one distance and a couple of things is um, that if it shows you a distance on the outside, use that like this is 26 feet from the outside corner here to outside corner. If you don't have these outside dimensions, use an inside one in a bedroom or something. And like typically it will say one distance like this 14 foot 10 is a longer one from the inside of the wall here to inside of the wall here is 14 foot 10 inches. The, from inside here to inside here is 11 feet. Okay, so choose a dimension you want to use as a scale. I'm going to use this 26 feet here. All right, so click on set scale of floor plan image right here. It says click on the canvas to draw. You want to click twice. Okay, don't drag your mouse, just click it twice from wherever you're going to. Like this is 26 feet from this point here. I'm going to click right there in the corner. I'm not dragging, I'm just moving my mouse. I'm going to click again right on the end over here like that. And then down below where it says length, it should be imperial. If it's not, you need to be in feet, not meters. Um, click here. I'm going to tap in 26 apostrophe. So shift apostrophe. Oops, that's quote. Quote is for inches. Apostrophe is for feet. Um, and then just check mark it. Okay. And I'll go like that. Okay. And now it's gotten really big. So what's happening is that now it's the correct size to look at things. Okay. And I can use my center mouse click to drag this around. Okay. And, or my scroll button, I'm sorry, my left click button. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit and out. I can move this around like this. Okay, now it's the right size. And to check that, go down here where it says tape measure or measure distance. As you click on this, and I'll click once on this corner here. Let me try that again. Looks like you drag it. So click and drag this. And it says 26 feet, 5 eighths inch. That's pretty close. That's 26 feet right there. So this is the right length now to scale. All right, so you want to check that. All right. Um, next thing is to put in some walls. And you want to go to, this is in the, the hammer and the wrench here. Okay, make sure you're there. Click on draw wall. Choose side number one. These are the two sides of the wall. You can change those later. But for now, just click on this first one. Okay, and now we're going to start drawing walls. So when it's scaled correctly, when you draw a wall, kind of make sure you can kind of see the whole thing here. Um, I'm going to go back here for just a minute before I start drawing walls. I'm going to make sure I can see my, my whole drawing like this. Okay, kind of make it as big as you can um, to where you're going to draw your walls. And uh, hold on, hold on. okay, there it is. So I've got as big as I can see on the screen my floor plan now. And I'm going to first of all go over here and. Mm, I take it back. Let's go over here. In the background settings, um, and go to settings here, this is where you can change transparency of this image, like you make it as transparent as you want. If you go over to here, it's like really bright, and I won't be able to see the walls very well, but if I go kind of a medium like this, 
but I can kind of see where the walls are going. So maybe change it like that for now, and then go back. All right, okay, going back. Draw a wall, first wall like this. When you draw a wall, you want to go to the center of the wall. Don't do, go to the outside edge because it'll be too long. You go to the centers of the walls to draw them. So from the center here, click. I'm not dragging, just move your mouse down. Um, I'm going to just click again here. And notice that it doesn't make a corner right in there, but it will later. So just bring it all the way across. Don't worry about windows or doors yet. You're going to go all the way through. The doors and windows will cut themselves into the wall automatically. Go to the middle of the wall here, click. 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 And go back to the middle of this wall and click again. And now it makes those corners for you, which is nice. Okay. Notice that if I click on a I click on a wall, I can drag this back and forth if I need to to adjust it. I can click on a corner, move it around. Okay. I can click on one wall at a time and change. Um, you can delete it. You can rotate it. All kinds of stuff. So that's how it is. Okay. I'm gonna go back here now and draw another wall just to show you this. When you draw a wall, I'm just gonna stop and push Escape. You can move the wall around, okay? You can angle it like this or click on the other end like that to move it, um, things like that, okay? You can click on this and start a new, you can break it in half, stuff like that. There's lots of things you can do with the walls, okay? You can also click on the wall and push delete and delete, okay? So that is the idea, all right? So there's my first walls away. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw some more walls inside here. Once again, go from the middle. I'm going to go from the middle, click, and down here, make sure it's straight, click, all the way across these doorways to here, click, all the way to here, and click inside that wall. There's that one. I'm going to go again, draw like this, and continue like drawing my walls like this, through to here. Um, I'll push escape and start it again. And just kind of start filling all your walls into here. Go to the center there, center of this. That's good. I'm going to draw a wall again for this one. So let's go ahead and finish drawing this. Click, let go, bring it down, click again, push escape, and I'll just keep continuing making these. Okay. So that is the idea um, like that. All right. I can also. Um, this reminder, like if I click in, if the wall's in the wrong spot like this one, I can drag this wall into position like that and just let go, and now it's in position. Okay, so you can modify it like that. All right, as you're doing this, you can go to 3D here, click on the 3D, the left click, and then use a, um, a shift key plus a scroll button to pan this around, okay? You can zoom in and out. You can use your scroll button to move around like this. You can turn your walls cut away off and on like this. So as you cut up, turn this off and on so you can you can look in this and kind of see through it. Okay, I'll leave it off for now. Cut away walls. Okay, so once again, shift plus the scroll click lets you pan around like this. Scroll button lets you rotate and scroll zoom in and out for zooming. Okay, and we're going to stop there for the walls. Okay, see so if you can get all your walls done, and the next video will be on windows and doors. Okay, thanks. Hope this helps.